today we are going to study about the importance of thanksgiving to god the gratitude and being thankful to god shift our focus from what our life lacks to the abundance of already what we have colossians 2 7 says that we should abound in faith and in thanksgiving thanksgiving is an expression and the sign of our faith to god and we will never truly thank god until first we truly trust him and we will not be grateful to god for all what god has given to us until first we recognize that we are dependent on, dependent on him and he cares us and he loves loves us so whether we are a believer or whether you are a believer or not the blessing that god has given is already what you deserve and that is very important to understand okay so it is important to understand how to respond those blessings it is not that you are a believer in christ that god is blessing as when a, a person is believer in christ he will do righteousness he will get more blessings that is different but even without that god will be blessing the people more than what they deserve many people are blind to many blessings that god daily showers upon them without having a grateful heart many grumble for almost everything because an unthankful attitude exists in human heart even gratitude is an in integral part of our society and if you ask most people if they are ungrateful they will probably say of course not i am really grateful to god for all what uh, they may explain and tell that yes they are grateful but inside of inside there will be a heart of grumbling and murmuring however this attitude is so ingrained in 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 the heart of us even we don't realize that bible teaches us in colossians 2 7 a heart overflowing with thankfulness comes from being grounded in faith your beliefs about god affect your spiritual health and uh, your mental and emotional and physical health as well even your brain believe me your faith your trust in god will affect your brain if you have a brain problem trust god that is the first remedy your brain problem will start healing hallelujah because he is a god who cares you whom you might have ignored or you might have not understood his worth in your life hallelujah i'm sure many of us will be interested in doing something every day that help us flourish spiritually phys physically psychologically and mentally and god calls us to do that and uh, what is that what is the way that uh, we try to or what is the way god wants us to do to flourish our life or in our every situation that is god wants us to be thankful to god ephesians 5:20 says give thanks always and for everything to god give thanks always and for everything to god even the uh, current social science research confirms the power of thankfulness to energize heal and transform lives the thankfulness means gratitude counting our blessing noticing simple good things happening and noticing simple this is what we miss, uh, miss simple good things happening we have to count your blessing one by them but we are waiting for big big blessing and we and uh, and uh, what we what we we desire and for even even the uh, in the in that way we will even miss to uh, thank god for the greater things that god is blessing us with thankfulness means gratitude counting uh, blessings noticing simple good things happening noticing simple pleasures and acknowledging everything that we receive it means learning to live a life being aware of a continuous basis of how much we have been given does gratitude shift our focus from what we lack in our life to abundance that we are all already present in our life in addition behavior and uh, psychological research has shown a sur uh, surprising life improvement that can stem from the practice of gratitude giving thanks make us happier and more resilient it uh, strengthens relationship it improves health and uh, reduces stress 
brain research shows us that when we change our mindset for better and positive side we can transform our life for better choosing to meditate on positive thoughts will make our brain internal structure healthier hallelujah two psychologists wrote an article about an experiment they conducted on uh, gratitude and its impact on well-being the study split several hundred people into three different groups and all the participants were asked to do three different groups he made they made and and the three different participants group participants were asked to do certain things the first group kept uh, uh, the diary of events that occurred during the day without being told specially to write about either good or bad thing and the second group was told to record their unpleasant experience and the last group was interested to make the, a daily list of things for which they are grateful and the result of the study from this report indicated that daily gratitude exercises result in higher reported levels of alertness enthusiasm determination optimism and energy in addition to this the gratitude group experienced less depression and stress were more likely to help others exercise more regularly and uh, uh, made greater progress towards achieving personal goals and studies show that practicing gratitude can uh, increase happiness level ar by around 25% this is significant among other things because just as there is a certain weight that feels natural to us which your body strives to maintain basic level of happiness is set at a predetermined point there is a basic level of happiness that is set in our 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 life okay if something bad happens you uh, happens to you during the day your happiness can drop immediately but then again it returns to the normal state because you are a person who is having that much of happiness level in your life likewise something positive happens to you your level of happiness rises and then it returns again to the normal level of your happiness level but the practice of gratitude raises your happiness set point uh, so that you can remain at the higher level of happiness regardless of outside circumstances did you get me if you practice praising god if you practice looking at the blessings that god has given and practice thanksgiving okay your happiness level will be regardless of your circumstances in addition research shows that those who practice gratitude tend to be more creative bounce back more quickly from adversity and have a, a stronger immune system your health will improve hallelujah but to say we feel grateful is not to say that everything in our life is necessarily great and everything is going well you are happy not because everything is going well it is your choice in christ hallelujah it just means that we are aware of our blessing and appreciate simple pleasures and good things it is true that most people spend their energy endless reviewing their past days often murmuring and complaining about their present days beneath all constantly worrying about their future isn't it that is human life that is the human mentality many people they keep bringing the past record and worrying and the present record and worry and what is going to happen in future they know and they will be worrying hallelujah one of the reasons we are unthankful is simply because we don't see there is a complaining spirit living in our life in our heart and we don't understand easily the consequences of it the complaining spirit will simply destroy you my friends first corinthians 10:10 10, 10. moreover the complaints complaining spirit only will make you fall from the faith in lord jesus christ take it from me hallelujah your faith will rise when when you thank god for not that all abundance that you are expecting with little things think today how many blessings god has given to you 
but till today but you are no you are only griping for the things that you don't have today yes many things what we are expecting we do don't have we are only thinking about that you will get those things when you start praising god creating a gratitude about what you already have in your life hallelujah romans no people who are unthankful will naturally have negative personalities huh? find it easy to ex complain about little things and they become moody people unhappy people moody people in their heart there is a strong complaining spirit is there and romans 1 21 and 26 and 27 teaches us that being ungrateful is the cornerstone sin of all other sins you have to carefully notice and understand today's message hallelujah which is the pathway leads to covetousness worshiping creatures more than god all sexual sins and pride ego gossiping all other kinds of malice and eventually lead to full scale rebellion against god and ingratitude comes easily to most of us ungrateful people have problems with themselves they will be self centered unloving rude angry hateful you just think of this complaining people they are rude in their heart they are selfish people and they complain about everything if you give it abundance also, abundance also in that something they will find to complain hallelujah so people who suffer from envy jealousy walk through life painfully obsessed by the disadvantages or advantages enjoyed by others their strong desire to experience the same advantage causes significant resentment which often lead to anger and unhappiness jealousy people envy people can never be happy because they are not happy with what god has given them they are only looking at the blessings that god has given to the other person and they want that why jealousy comes it is not because somebody is prospering because you want that prosper uh, prosperity you want what others have such people can never be happy in their heart Hallelujah. Jealousy can prevent contentment, satisfaction in all areas of our life in complaining what we don't have to what others do. We reduce our ability to appreciate and be thankful to the blessings that God already we are enjoying. We forget the blessing. We'll think, what? How God has blessed me? Isn't it? But just think. How many, how many blessings you are enjoying that you are not deserving in fact hallelujah unthankful people are known to be bitter unforgiving towards themselves and to god and other people matthew 18 32 through 35 we see the picture of an unthankful servant who was forgiven of a great debt and but couldn't forgive his fellow servant of a, a, a much smaller debt if a person is bitter or whole things against others then shows that he is unthankful for what God has done to him in his life. Unthankful people uh, understand that if you have an unforgiving spirit, if you find it very difficult to forgive the people, you have a spirit of complaining and un unthankful, sp unthankful spirit is there in your heart. Unthankful people do not take care of the things that God has given to them, whether it is their spiritual gift, their mind, their property, their car or whatever. They have even children, their husband or their spouse. They will complain about everything. They are not satisfied with anything. Taking good care of the things which God has given shows him that those things mean something to us and we are thankful to God, isn't it? Even the small thing. If you are taking care, that means we are thankful that small thing. But if you are not learned to thank for that thankful, that small thing, we have a big complaining spirit inside. No matter how educated, talented, rich or cool you believe you are, how you treat people 
especially in adverse situation tell all about you a cool person you will tell he is very cool he is very intelligent he is very brainy that is not who he is in his adverse situation how he behaves that is he really is then we are uh, if you are a person who is grumbling for every negative situation then understand there is an ungrateful spirit in your heart and take care and make serious attempt to expel that spirit or that spirit is destroying many blessings that god wants to give you did you get me today's message should change your life today's message should break many curses in your life there are many curses just because of your ungrateful heart in your life and second timothy 3 1 and 2 says a lot about the attitude of ingratitude and that comes to the people it tells us that the day uh, the day will come when un, uh, thankfulness will be a rare commodity the reason god says people will be lovers of self people who are self centered tend to believe that they deserve whatever they are they are achieving they think that that they deserve they don't see the god's hand behind it you have seen people it is because of my smartness i have this much of education degree i have earned this much it is because of my goodness or my smartness they will never thank god they don't understand the god's hand behind if something could have happened to your brain or your health you could have studied you could have earned that much money who protected you none other than god are you thinking that they will never give thanks thanks to god they think that is i deserve i earned i am smart this is how the people are so they become proud without a heart of humbling down to recognize see anything you get you should yes you have worked hard but behind that there was the hand of god you just think anything happened to your brain you are out isn't it can you think the way you are thinking god can do that don't think that it will not happen but god has protected you anything you achieved there you should say thank you jesus thank you god that is a humble grateful heart hallelujah so these verses in second timothy 3 1 and 2 are telling us the reason for the ungrateful heart that there will be they will be lovers of money so you may ask what is wrong in loving money we all need loving we all need money yes we do need money there is a difference between having money or desiring money and loving money what bible says when uh, the loving money leads to greed and covetousness and uh, and uh, greedy people seldom experience the feeling of gratitude and greed and gratitude rarely occupy in the same person when selfishness and greed rule your life you cannot be a very pleasant person selfish peace people are boastful proud disobedient to parents ungrateful unholy and we can add to this list unhappy unfulfilled and miserable thankful people can uh, thankful people by implication from above verses are not self centered not greedy not proud that means they are humble obedient grateful they are even thankful for the smallest thing that god has given hallelujah ungratefulness has terrible effect on our spiritual and material lives and is highly disapproved by god let's examine what god tells us about ingratitude and its consequences god calls the israelite an evil congregation for their sinful ingratitude to god an ungrateful attitude is sin and evil which provoke him to anger did you get me each word what i am preaching my friend go through don't think that this message is for someone else every word is for you and me if you take it and practice i always tell you you take my messages and practice your life will definitely change don't tell that it is difficult in your flesh it is difficult 
Christ has given his Holy Spirit. With the strength of the Holy Spirit, we can do. Your life will definitely change. Your happiness level, your peace level, your blessings level, your curses will break. Hallelujah. So God called the Israelites an evil congregation for their sinful ingratitude to God. An ungrateful attitude is sin which provoke him to anger. God caused them to wander in the wilderness for 40 additional years because of their unthankful heart. You know that. And their murmuring and unthankful attitude condemned them from even seeing the promised land. Law uh, Numbers 14, 11 through 40. It may be the same reason today that God is not blessing you. You are wandering in the same place of curse or the blessings that you are not seeing. You are wandering. God caused the Israelites to wander 40 days in 40 years in the wilderness in the same way. Check your murmuring level, your unthankful heart. That, that, that one heart, that, that one point, that one spirit is causing your many blessings to stop. So for us, the modern day Israelites, ingratitude is similarly destructive and a deadly sin. Colossians 3, 15 through 17, the commandment to be thankful is sandwiched by singing and giving thanks to God. Thanksgiving is the fuel to our, our uh, worship and uh, our prayers and if you are a person who doesn't sing worship song in the church now you understand you don't feel like singing the worship songs because you don't have a grateful heart in your heart even if you may be singing are you singing from the depth of your heart every word is meaningful to you there is a difference you may be opening your mouth and singing you may be dancing and singing but that songs are from where? Is it from your mouth or from your heart? Some people don't sing. Some people sing from their mouth. Both are same. The right singing is from heart. Every word, Lord, you are beautiful. Your grace has saved me, a, a wretched like me, isn't it? Once I was lost, now I am found. Your word teaches me to live. How true it is. You should sing from your heart. If you are not singing from your heart, whatever the spiritual action you show, it is of no use. The same as the person who are just standing straight. Mm. All are singing. Is and you will see how I am dancing and singing. This person is standing so straight. Both are same. The song, the singing that God wants is you should mean it God you are good you are good you are so great to me without me I cannot live what all the verses we, live, we sing should mean it then the dance will come then without your, your knowledge the hands will go up why you are not raising your hands because you are sitting with an ungrateful heart don't stop your ungrateful heart to raise others hand please some of you are doing that sin also you are so ungrateful to God so you are stopping others to raise their hands hallelujah this is what God wants the singing from our heart so thanksgiving is fuel to our everyday life our life will be lifeless without recognizing what God has already blessed us with and uh, Philippians 4 6 says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be known to God not with murmuring we pray with full of murmur that uh, murmuring that is the reason in the prayer only you are sleeping no thanksgiving or chumma, lip service, thanks, thank you God for it. You are not really happy. You are not really thankful to God for whatever you are going through. Okay. Lip service. That's the reason the prayer makes you sleep. The prayer is a lullaby for you. Isn't it? Many of you, you can't continue praying or your prayer will be stopped. 
so thanksgiving fills our mind with god's goodness that already he has given us and his love and his power rather than anxieties and worries however if we neglect thanksgiving our prayer will be full of worries and anxieties even such heart if we are possessing such heart will stop us from our prayer life you are not able to pray isn't it because your grumbling spirit is high you don't have a thankful heart little if you are thankful you see you really love god the prayer will come hallelujah psalms 92 1 and 2 praising god is good and not just because it makes us feel closer to god but because it is most counter cultural that is opposite thing we can do to show our resistance against satan's attack in our life yes we are going through bad time it is not god's blessing god allowed the satans to have that but still we are happy why because god has a purpose and we go through what we deserve one thing you should understand my friends more than what we deserve we cannot enjoy anything in our life don't creep for for that is called greed we think yes i deserve what i am suffering it is not me my blessing it should not be my blessing that's how people's attitude whatever we are going through accept it as they are thank you jesus when you accept as they are and when you work with that you see that god you god start blessing you your situation start changing by living lives that are worshipful and thankful we show that we do not depend on our circumstances people materialism or the pleasures of this world because many pleasures of this world we have to sacrifice to obtain the kingdom of god don't forget you not you cannot have the pleasures of this world and at the same time you cannot desire the pleasures of the heaven both you cannot have certain pleasures we have to sacrifice for the kingdom of god you cannot Uh, uh sacrifice the pleasures of this world at the same time you are working to reach heaven that will not happen my uh, my friends understand that is the reason many guidance you people don't believe because it is contradictory to your worldly thinking not godly thinking so thanksgiving affects you it affects devil and it affects god understand it affects god how god is happy because you are happy with all what god gave isn't it just think you are all, always murmuring grumbling mumbling mm, with someone that person likes you never be happy whatever he gives mm, you didn't give me that mm, 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 mm. never be happy with that person that person likes you you tell me god is same but for little thing even your mother or father or whoever little thing if you give thanks they will give you more isn't it that is even human psychology human mentality god is the same don't think that if you grumble more god will give you more no that's what many people will think that is the human attitude human understanding you got that picture isn't it always telling a person only complain that person will never like you they will hate you what a boring personality that person is hallelujah so thanksgiving affects you thanksgiving affects devil huh devil is surprised huh hey, whatever happens you are happy huh devil will leave you devil cannot be with you you are a strong person and it affects god you understand all these three things and it touches everything and every part of your life likewise the lack of praise affects you in negative way and you will be anxious about the worldly cares and we are not if we are not continually and intentionally ordering our mind to thank on the good things of god our troubled situations can lead us discouragements and depression the greatest tool in fighting depression is not meditation but being thankful to god many people are depressed mental care, met, mental mental problem happens because there is an unthankful heart living in their heart they are grumbling people murmuring people they are not happy with the little things that god has given isn't it see when we are when we when we are not happy with anything 
we are depressed so for that people they will be more depressed and one day they will have that sickness of depression hallelujah so what they need is not medicine what they need is start counting the little things that god has given in their life Hallelujah. And Psalms 22, 3 says, God inhabits the praises of his people. And this also can be reversed when we don't have an attitude of uh, thanksgiving towards God. We will naturally grumbling inside and not happy. That can prevent God's personal uh, presence in our life. It rem and we remain dry and depressed and moody always. Isn't it? Oil of joy it's called. Oil of joy. You are so dry. Isn't it? See, when you are dry and moody, start praising God. Not, not from your mouth. Some people make us a practice of praising. But inside of inside, they have a grumbling heart. They are grumbling. At the same time, they take the song books and they sing and dance. That will not work. The songs should from, come from the heart. Really, you are good. Lord, you are good. You are always good. Isn't it? So to practice praise and understand this will not come naturally. It will not come naturally to you or me. It's an intentional effort from our side. We have to order our mind. And it is important. Don't say that it is not possible. You should practice. So to practice praise and thanksgiving towards God in, involves intentionally engaging our mind in ordering our thoughts in a manner that pleases God. It is an exercise to practice to reduce our grumbling and murmuring nature. Studies reveals that 70% of all that we think are uh, from our unconscious mind. Thus, we are all acting out of our life based on mostly negative thoughts that are implanted in our souls. That is the reason you have to study the word and memorize and meditate. Already implanted the worldly things in our heart. Nobody has to teach us. So many things we do, many things we react unconsciously. And it will have effect on us. That's the reason we have to study the word. We know that God is good. I mean, we know that God's promises are real. Okay. So it is important for us to break out of this mental bondage by feeding our soul with sure word of God that can uh, change our mindset. And when we live a life of constant complaining and grumbling, lack of thankfulness, we will bring in and grow a wrong spirit in our home and nurture families and Family members are unthankful, grumbling people, ungrateful towards one another, isn't it? Hallelujah. I heard someone telling this example and this example is up for our text. If you are being given a bowl of sand containing tiny particles of iron and you are told to remove the iron from the sand, you have two choices. You can pull your fingers through the sand and search the speck of iron, that, but finding very few. Or you can pull a magnet through the sand and watch it. How that magnet attracts the countless hidden tiny ions. Isn't it? You understood this example. Like the fingers in the, stand, uh, in the sand, grumbling heart finds very few mercies. Why we are not seeing the blessings of God? Because our grumbling spirit is so strong in us. We don't see the blessings of God. What God has blessed me? <laughs> you don't know how I have been suffering. Till today my life is suffering. That is what you will tell. Because like how we are searching that, that iron in the, in the sand with our hand. We won't be able to find but take the magnet. Magnet will attract the iron. The same way. A, a grateful heart will see even the tiniest thing that God has given in our life. Hallelujah. Now let's see how we can, uh, we can become or we can create a thankful heart. Whatever you think about throughout the day will affect your whole personality and mood. You know that. Isn't it? If you spend your time thinking about traveling, you will want to always be going somewhere or doing something. And... You will spend your day daydreaming of 
of being somewhere on vacation and if you spend your day thinking about the negative things around you and things you can complain about you can develop a pessimistic personality and it will pull you down and at the end of the day you know that you will have pain somewhere you know most of your pain will vanish today if you purposely make an attempt to thank god for even the smallest thing hallelujah why do you take pain killer you recognize your grumbling spirit expel that spirit bring in a thankful heart it won't come see medicine is not at home you will go to the medical shop and buy it is not that all the medicines are stored in your house when you have when you when you have a pain when you can't tolerate that pain definitely you walk up to the the, the medical shop and you buy the medicine it's a deliberate attempt because pain is motivating you prompting you to walk up to the medical shop to buy the medicine the same way my friends this is a deliberate attempt understand cure for all your pain stop taking pain killers my friends start creating a thankful heart start thinking about the smallest thing so many so many things god has blessed today you are in christ that is the greatest blessing hallelujah many people don't even have christ in their heart you people are going for evangelism you know the hearts of the people many people are rejecting jesus christ in the midst of them or think about your own family members my friends your relatives you friends you tell no 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 we don't want jesus christ or if you are a traditional christian they don't want to live their traditional christian but you were a traditional christian you could change the tradition how thank god for that why we are we are some so one more we are better than them no are we better people than them why the traditional people are not believing like how we are believing we don't know grace of god your grace has touched me i was wretched person keep thanking keep thanking recognize your ungrateful heart in in you the spirit that is killing you destroying you every day hallelujah as i told you the the human mentality they keep people keep thinking about their past past worries present worries future worries that is the sum of their life don't be in christ like that please in christ you should know how to live the life praising god thanking god recognizing your ungrateful heart hallelujah so if you spend the whole day thinking about the negative things around you the things you can complain about you will de develop a, a negative character and the, at the end of the day you know that you will have pain somewhere on your body head the leg anywhere in your body and every day it will and day by day it is increasing isn't it because your grumbling spirit is increasing if the thankful spirit is increasing your pain will go hallelujah one of the important steps in developing thankful personality is to meditate the things that you have in your life to be thankful for you should uh, forcibly this, i told you friends it won't come for you and me easily it won't come but forcibly deliberately that the the that pain killer is not in our house our want is forcing us to go to the medical shop in the same way forcibly you should start thinking about the good things that god has blessed you with so as you decide to stop grumbling which is a hard exercise for you okay it is a real when you start uh, 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 it is easy to hear the messages it is easy to preach the message but when you start practicing when you face the situation you will understand how painful it is but at that time remember this message keep hearing this message it's very important for you that time okay to stop your grumbling and to start praising god is a real hard effort that is the reason bible says only hard working people reach heaven you need to work hard with your character if you are not working hard with your character 
when you have to work hard when situation comes when an opposite situation comes when the situation comes to control yourself then you will understand that's the reason many people are telling your messages are very hard and many people have gone away from me because of that only but start obeying my friends understand how the situations are changing your joy your peace your blessings everything will change hallelujah so it's a hard attempt it's not easy easy to hear but hard to practice of course but you will be tearing down the strongholds of many sins in you did you get me just control your complaining spirit and start praising and it is a difficult attempt but god will give us the strength and we have to do that is how we have to develop character in us just practicing that many character will forge out happiness will forge out hallelujah so please do practice and exercise this great wonder to develop character in your born again life thanksgiving should not be an event like many people thanksgiving day peace day one day one day you have to pray, pray, pray for the peace eh every day you have to pray for the peace there is no peace day one day in an year or one day in a month or one day in a in a in a uh, in a week or something every day you have to pray that prayer you have to pray for the nation every day you have to pray for the nation's peace every day it is not one day if uh, uh, event in the same way thanksgiving should not be an event or a one day holy day but it should become an important event to happen for the followers of christ everywhere to have holy days not h o l i holy day h o l y holy day that means righteousness peace and joy and god's presence did you get me every day is a thanksgiving way all the moment is for thanksgiving then we will we will live we will have holy days holy days h o l y days to live lives of praise and thanksgiving is uh, the most countercultural thing we can do to strip the devil's plan and power over our lives and families understand did you get me we have to accept responsibility and we have uh, we will never have victory until we quit grumbling and murmuring and understand that will destroy you destroy your joy already it has destroyed so much at least from today you have to make a new decision that it's a deliberate attempt it is a hard attempt hallelujah sephania 317 says god will uh, rejoice over us with singing see singing god will re- bible says everywhere bible you can see sing sing psalms sing praises to god worship god that is from the heart and seeing that many people have already bought so many books and so many cds and cassettes they will be singing from their mouth don't come in the people who are standing straight without opening their mouth while you are singing from your mouth are you singing from your heart this is what god wants god likes singing god likes singing when singing comes friends understand from a happy mind the singing comes isn't it we don't chuma sing are you singing singing comes from a happy mind when we are happy we will sing so that's what bible we are. are you happy with your born again life are you happy with jesus christ are you happy with the discipline in your life that you have to make hallelujah then you will say you will sing sephania 317 says god will rejoice over our singing singing sing uh, singing songs to god and thanksgiving is a unique way of bringing your heart soul mind and strength together to focus and trust entirely and completely on god his love and provision this thanksgiving the kind where you notice is little good thing that even the unpleasant situation in the way that you will be uh, uh, no that is our attitude our heart attitude to us 
this thanksgiving i told you that is our heart attitude you have already built that or you are on the way you are progressing hallelujah that should be a constant uh, effort when you keep practicing that my friends you will become a master of gratitude you see that your body will be healed you don't have to take any medicine no 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 uh, uh, no sickness will come to you that's the reason bible says in third john 2 as your soul prosper you will be prosperous in everything not only in the spiritual thing material thing physical thing everything means everything bible is not just talking about the spiritual thing bible is there to bless us not only with the spiritual thing when we are blessed with the spiritual thing material things will be in this world we have to live isn't it in this world we we have to live with peace joy money wealth isn't it everything we need it is not that we god is not jesus is not making us a spiritual monks sit somewhere always reading bible pray don't enjoy the world no god will never say that isn't it this beautiful world god has made to enjoy everything we can enjoy when you are enjoying the kingdom of god you can enjoy the 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 the, the world that you are living hallelujah for that you have to have a grateful heart you should be a person who is singing always i sing praises of god isn't it chumma sing that sing songs won't come to you isn't it because you are always grumbling ayyo why my husband is not changing ayyo why my children are not changing ayyo my situations are why it uh, not changing see if you are a prayerful person your husband may be changing you are not seeing that minute change in him children may be changing you are not seeing that minute changing them you are not they are not the same people change may be little if you are constantly pay, praying hallelujah and the result is improving every situation every uh, including your character and health when your character changes health will change hallelujah let's close our eyes in prayers